Sasha and Dylan are just like my childhood dream couple when i saw sasha i always wanted to put dylan with her like those they literally look like they were made for each other what's going on jewels i am back today with another video and as you can tell from the title above we have pretty and punk sasha oh my gosh the brand new when i say brand new i mean the brand 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 new pretty and punk sasha a few reasons why this is exciting is because Pretty and Punk has already launched in 2005. Fortunately, Bratz are back in action, so they are doing repros. We're getting new dolls. Mind y'all, my head is all over the place. I'm gonna get into the background. I know y'all are wondering, what is that behind me? Bratz also did a collaboration with the brand, the cosmetic brand, Crash Cosmetics. Crash Cosmetics came out with, I wanna say, four different eyeshadow palettes. Sasha and Jade. So inside this eyeshadow palette, they all come with a brush that's double-sided, four eyeshadows, a mix of mattes and shimmers, and the last one is an eyeliner, and then an empty palette that you go ahead and you pop those inserts out and put them into the palette. And they all come with cute, cute stickers. So this one is the one for Sasha and Jade. So on the face, I am wearing the blush in Bunny Blow, and the packaging looks like this. It has her little lips on there and her name. The back just says the ingredients. And then the actual makeup itself, there is a mirror on top. So it comes with the blush and then a shimmer silver highlighter. And I am wearing both today. I do have an original Pretty in Punk, Dylan. Let me show them side by side. Sasha and Dylan are just like my childhood dream couple when i saw sasha i always wanted to put dylan with her like those they literally look like they were made for each other and now having them together this is so crazy they did a great job with the repro i did get this shirt um quite some time ago honestly from hot topic and is the pretty and punk boys Ian in the middle, Dylan here on my right, and Cameron on my left. That is Dylan's actual first look that he's featured in right there, looking cute and gorgeous. I did see that there are some shirts for the new Pretty in Punk that include Sasha, so I don't have my hands on any yet, but I definitely am on the this lookout. This corner is my dedicated Bunny Boo corner, looking so cute. So let's start, start from, from the top. top. Up top, I have Birthday Sasha. This was given to me by a special someone. Next up is Wintertime Wonderland Sasha. And you guys, this one is such a special Sasha to me. So growing up, Wintertime Wonderland was one of my favorite commercials. And honestly, just collections in general to see in stores. I was so sad when I was growing up because this was one of the few dolls that my parents did not buy for me. Well, nobody in my family because even my grandparents and aunts, they bought me brats for Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. But this was one that no one would ever buy me. And I wanted her so bad. So, so happy to have her in my collection. Right below is another childhood favorite must-have that is so crazy that I have both of these in my collection now. But this is Slumber Party Sasha. This is Slumber Party Wave 2 Sasha. Wave 1 is still cute, but Wave 2, it features literally my favorite hairstyle on a Bratz. There's one Dana that comes with the same hairstyle. I hope that we get a repro of either Slumber Party Wave 2 Sasha or even the Wintertime Wonderland Sasha up there. Pulling back out, I have this amazing, amazing custom artwork. This artwork was done by a 15-year-old artist, a woman of color, so much talent in her hands. And then I have the complimenting Felicia on this side. So they're playing a little devil angel sister act. Right below, I have some cute, cute items. This cute journal that features Sasha. This cute diary that I just could not live without, honey. I really couldn't. It has Sasha on it. It's purple. It's a cute little diary. This was very hard to choose, but Treasure Treasures Sasha poster is one of my faves. On the other side, this is a double-sided poster. So the other side has her single shot, but the cartoon version of her first look. This is one of the cute little foldable beanies, Sasha, which... Woo, she is light, honey. She is light, 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 but still iconic. So talking about Sasha, she is iconic. I do have one of her that I bought for like $15, I believe on Etsy, and I rebodied her on a GCDS body. So she is stunning, but girl, get into the mug. Like, wow. 
Sasha with green eyes is everything. To the right of her, I have my GCDS Sasha, which she is so iconic. Along this one is the mirror from the Crash Cosmetics collection, which looks like that. It's a cute star mirror. And then on the back features all the girls, even some girls that are not released, such as Nevra and Roxy. The shoe pack of Sasha, which this specific one does not pop up frequently. And when it does, it's always like more than $30. And I'm like, girl, these are not even my real feet. Like, I can't be spending all that and much. And last but not least is B. Bratz Sasha rebodied on the movie star's Sasha body. I completely forgot that I have this. This is one of two pretty in punk travel cases for your dolls so this is the one that i keep i know i'm gonna have stuff that falls right out immediately but i actually keep my boy dolls and boy shoes in here so it has like the little middle compartment girl this thing looks a mess it has the middle compartment that holds up to four brats dolls two on that side and then two on this side and then i'll open one of these rubber not rubber bands, but these little bows. So in here, you can store smaller accessories. Um, I wouldn't do bracelets or anything because that's kind of like too small. But the shoes and purses and hats, those fit great in there. That was my personal vision for Pretty in Punk Sasha when I heard that there was going to be a Sasha included. I'm like, oh girl, one of my Pretty in Punk sections already has a Sasha. So that's the vibe. We'll get into her peep that i picked a sasha with natural hair and they actually made pretty and punk sasha with natural hair a quick Lit. box comparison the top left the brats world destinations versus just brats world this was destination two i believe the first destination was tokyo and then london was the second they both featured the doll on the left side now the original came with pets all the boys came with cats and then the girls came with a puppy the boy version is called brat's boys punks and then all the girls have brat's pretty in punk both have suitcases up front and they come with the same sticker sasha's suitcases right there with the stickers and then the outfit the second look so they both say two punk outfits which is really nice so they kept it they kept it really oh good. my gosh and thank you they did not whitewash sasha as some other characters have been lightened. The top of the box is giving twinsies. We have the black strap with the star, the chrome star, and then a nice little chain that I'm sure can be turned into a bracelet or necklace. It says Bratz Boys Punks, Bratz Pretty and Punk. We have the artwork with their name. And then, ooh, little details about them. And then a sneak peek of the post. Oh my gosh. So the new repro does not have any picture on the bottom. But the bottom of the OG actually has some of the play sets. And there's more play sets than what you see here. We have the telephone and then the party. I think that's called like a oh party spot. There it is at the bottom. Party spot. There is a motorcycle that was a part of this line. Okay, so taking her fresh out the box, which I am keeping this box because I love to do the little cutouts and save all the little charms from the box. They make great pieces, especially for displays with the Brad's pad and just displays in general. So the backside, oh my gosh, she looks so good. Okay, so this is the poster for her. Oh no. See, this happened last time. My other poster that I got with the Series 3 Felicia, it had glue on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, give me a second. I'm going to try not to rip this and yeah, give me one second. Okay, you guys, so I got it out, but as you hear in my voice, I am a little sad because there is glue residue on my poster. Now, it's not too noticeable, but you guys, I have a thing for the posters. We were going to get into the poster. So this poster is supposed to end up in a frame. Front side of the poster features her second outfit look. And the hair seems to be a little bit more like a blonde shade versus completely white. This is a sickening poster. I love her look. And then on the back side, bam, so much color. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I love the final product. But this, this prototype, keep in mind, usually the prototypes look way more sickening than the final product. This prototype is everything. So far, I can tell that the eyes are a little bit more round. So this lip is completely closed in the prototype. 
And then the one for the actual product, it has a little gap, like a space for teeth. The other side features Sasha in her first look. Sickening. Is that a knee patch? I'm looking at the London knee patch. I'm like, why is that the first time that I'm seeing a knee patch? Okay. And it looks like she has the black boots on or like a blue navy boot. And then the final actually comes with this gray tone. So it is slightly different, which that, that usually happens. Side by side comparison to the original, which features the four girls that did come out at the time. And even eating on the boys. His doesn't look too different. Actually, it looks... Pretty close to the original. And then the other side, which features her cartoon, just to compare, very spot on to the original. It's a close up on Sasha out of box. Oh my she gosh. She comes with a bright blue suitcase. All other girls feature the black with the little silver corners. So the creative design for this pretty and punk Sasha was actually by a man of color. His name is Stefan Sumner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I am not, I do apologize, but his design overall is amazing. Like, I love it. He was actually inspired by an African-American woman. I believe the article said she was walking down the streets of New York City and just her fashion was so Sasha and just so punk. She comes with a bright red comb. The same stickers that we talked about earlier. And Sasha's suitcase is bright blue, which I do. Sometimes I wish that her lip was either that same bright blue or her hair streak had maybe a blue streak in it. But I'm not mad at it because it came white, so we it's easily customizable. And also, her top has that same blue that ties in, so it still so goes. She comes with this black studded choker. Sickening. The hair design is amazing. She has a shaved edge, shaved sides, and shaved backside giving her this extra grunge look she comes with little stud earrings i'm glad she already came pierced super simple winged makeup like yeah amazing she looks really good a nice bronzy lip and that lip kind of reminds me of the first edition sasha her top has the london flag on it in some like sequence aspects of blue and red and i did find out her top is actually a two-piece she comes with this cute side bag and then right underneath, she has your typical belt, but like a little chain. And it has a little star on it. Some really cute jeans. So I don't have the Hayden Williams Sasha, but from my memory, this kind of like gives me Hayden Williams Sasha's jean. And then, of course, the boot. Now, all the girls have the same boot. They just come with black boots. And hers are this... Not translucent, but it's kind of like giving translucent silk. So as I'm about to put her in her second outfit, I pulled the purse down. And I thought that that was a strap for the purse. Girl, those are suspenders that are literally built into her jeans. Let me get that to focus. This look is so detailed. I love okay, so it. Without exposing sis too much, I thought that this black mesh was an entire shirt. And it is not. It's just like the... Top little preview, and honestly, this illusion with a little titty in the middle is giving it to me. I kind of like that a little bit oh, more, but yes. Okay, so this top on its own is sickening. I love how much skin is being shown up top. Like, I love this bright color on her. Love the top without the mesh behind it, and girl, yes, this is a serve. My Sasha will definitely be rocking this top for a good minute. I really love how this blue pops on her. I like that there's no black to kind of like almost take away from the blue. Like the blue against her skin tone really, really pops. And then I just put her second outfit skirt on her, which was a two-piece. So I was very surprised. I, I thought that this was all one as a, like almost a dress. Look how short and small that peg is. People that said that the peg is smaller, so original shoes fall off a lot easier. My Sasha will not be in this body for too long. I do have an extra GCDS body that I already have ready for her because I love my dolls to pose. If you're planning to keep her normal, you might want to get like maybe original body from early 2000s just to rebody her so she can fit most of the shoes. Okay, girl, she's looking good. So this is Sasha officially in her second outfit. And my, 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 do the shoes go with the second outfit? I love the shoes with her complete second outfit. I 
you know, I I don't mind the skirt, but it's just not my favorite item, especially with the last top. I do like it more with the second top, so I see why they had those two next to each other. Oh my gosh, I forgot her jacket. I thought something was off. Take a look at this beauty. Okay, yeah. Second outfit all together. I actually live for it. I didn't I didn't live for it in the box but see this is why people unbox their dolls like i fully fully get i it. love that it's not a dress because you can have more mix and match options the yellow really brings out her eyes sasha is wrapping things up here at the bar with fiana and chloe oh my gosh you guys i'm even more i'm just really in love with this second outfit like the more that i look at her i love it even more at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was mad that they did not come with the pets. Like, I'm like, girl, I love repros. Like, if it came with a pet the first time, give me a pet the second time. But seeing everything out of box, touching, feeling, holding, I am so satisfied. I definitely do plan on getting the entire Pretty in Punk collection. I actually want doubles, to be honest. I want them in box and out of box to play I with. I am holding offs because all of the brats since they've done the repros of the 20th anniversary brats they literally have all been on sale at some point via target amazon or walmart so sasha was one that i could not live without and i'm like girl we are not about to have her sell out before i get my hands on her so i had to make sure i got my hands on her and i do plan on getting the rest of the collection the entire collection even eaten once they hit a good sale if you are interested in any of the pretty and punk the originals or the repros i highly highly recommend them all already i can tell that the quality is there like brats are back and in action and i'm loving sasha all right you guys so that is all i have for you today don't forget to like comment below subscribe to Drew galaxy i have an exclusive doll page at galaxy.brats on instagram and then i still run my main page Drew galaxy on everything instagram tiktok youtube everything all right you guys i love you and i will see you in the next one bye